We are back in Nashville. I haven't seen this place in so long. So we got here last night. We had one hell of a travel day. Today, we are going to go th baby thrifting in Nashville, see what we can find. There is a bunch of stuff that I was like, oh, should we bring it, should we not? Um, last time I was here in Nashville, at my house here, I was eight weeks pregnant. And so this is the first time I've been in Nashville like with a child and being a mom. So it's kind of like a whole different thing. And we went to Walmart last night. We got some like more bibs and some different stuff, but we're like quickly realizing we need things to like keep her occupied. She's like really just smart and just needs stimulation. So, which is probably good for any baby. Um, so we need to get her a couple things. Like we brought her baby Bjorn, which I don't go anywhere without. That thing comes with us everywhere, even to the babysitter, like everywhere, every, every, everywhere. So a couple of things that I'm looking for is maybe some chew toys and different things, probably not those first or second hand, but um, maybe like a little walker, a bouncer, um, a couple little things like that, possibly looking for like a pack and play sort of situation. Um, maybe some clothes if we find something cool. So those are on my list. And then we don't have the charger, charging cord for our monitor. We only brought one and we need one for the camera and one for the monitor. And we each thought we brought it, but we didn't. So that's also on the list. So let's go ahead and check out some thrift stores and see what Nashville has to offer in the way of baby secondhand baby items. Um, I used to shop for these a long time ago with my stepmom. She always would shop at like secondhand places for my little sister. Um, and hey, Pipes, there's a puppy, um, a golden retriever puppy my neighbor just got. So she's like saying hello, but let's go see what they have to offer. I also want to go check out um, Hendersonville around here. I don't think I've been there yet. And we might try and hit a couple little other little areas to check it out. We're thinking about possibly moving here at some point. So I wanted to, we want to like check out all the areas and see what there is to see. So let's go. Oh, on my way out, I just saw this. We just got this in the mail. It's like this like little seat that like can sit at a bar. I um, got this on Amazon. Uh, Nick really wanted this. So we grabbed that in case we go to a restaurant and we need some seating for the baby. Hey pipes, cute bandana. So we made it out to Once Upon a Child in Antioch and we're in here and there's like a lot of stuff. We recognize this brand, Tactical Baby Gear. I think this is originally like 90 bucks or something, so it's kind of cool. Saw this thing on Amazon before, this bouncer on, or no, it was on Karen's story. Oh, thanks for joining the party. Hi, big girl. You're losing the sock there. <laughs> All these, ooh, doll, oh my gosh, doll house up there's only $12? Oh, maybe we need a little Christmas outfit from here. You only gonna wear it one time anyway. 24 months, let's see, 18 months. This would probably fit her now. <laughs> so cute, okay, this is not what I'm here for, but that is so freaking cute to find naughty. <laughs> she needs like a little Christmas dress, huh? That's pretty cute too. Oh, look at the little fur on the bottom. Got some fun toys in here. clothes. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're looking in six to nine months. These are so freaking cute. Dad says it. I can't put her in too short of a skirt. Is this too short, Dad? <laughs> yeah, I kind of agree. Oh, look at a little ruffle butts. Oh, $70 monitor. How much is it brand new? Yeah, that's cute. 350. Okay, so we're thinking we need like a Thanksgiving dress for the baby. 
She needs that. I don't. Is she gonna fit in that? You kind of big girl. Yeah, I think. Okay, Thanksgiving dress. No, I mean I had this in my hand. Do you like this? This is. Yeah. This is kind of cute, but it's. You said you wanted a dress for easy changing. Twelve dollars. I don't know how I feel about that at a resale store. <laughs> what do you think about the purple one? You like the purple one? Do you like it? Smile if you like it. Carlita Panchita. What do you think? Ooh. Heck yeah, we just have to block off the stairs. Uh, how much is it? 30 bucks, I think. 35? That's how much her one at home was brand new. <laughs> I feel like that should be like $15. He just pulled it up, so the Chico one is 99 on Amazon. So, okay, 35's not bad. I think I just got like an off crappy brand, like I usually do. <laughs> oh, there's like a, what is that up there too? Those are like little bouncer things. It would be nice if they have two. Oh, that's Basically like baby Bjorn. Yeah. But she holds herself up. Got it. It would be... work, because if we wanted to put wheels on it, I could probably just put the wheels on it. We just get the wheel one. Um, you know it'd be nice if we could find is like a like a nice quilted kind of blanket for her to land like on the ground like you know yeah. I was looking on Amazon oh a changing station yeah if they had a keeker or something similar this is cool I think she'd like turning around this one's pretty cool there's different levels you can do here so she can roll around here it's like a less annoying noise than you usually hear on these two. She might like that. Cool. Okay, we're returning everything we got at Walmart. I think we're gonna get some of these here. If you buy five or more, they're only a dollar each. Look at all of those onesies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Found some sleep sacks. I think this one's really cute. This one's two fifty, super soft. And then this is actually a halo one. It's like the I won't put her arms in anymore, so she can roll. But this one's three fifty. And then this one is 352. Super cute. It's so good for chillier weather. We don't really have a whole lot of those. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Off to try the taqueria in Nashville. I don't have high hopes. Do you? I asked you if you had high hopes. Oh, or... I shook my head no. Oh. We got some different things at that place. The total came to like $94. So I'll have to show you guys what we got. Dad dressed little Harlita Panchita today. You could tell because there's no bow on her head. <laughs> look how pretty you look in your little dress. <laughs> Do you well, love like it? For a school picture. <laughs> so cute. This place is like actually pretty legit. We came in here and they don't even speak English actually. So that's that's a good sign. We like that. And then Nick made fun of the way I ordered my tacos. <laughs> I don't, I really need to know how to say like, is it Yo Quiero Cuatro Tacos de Pollo? <laughs> you don't really have to say Yo Quiero is, you're already. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was like the most whitewashed ever. So cute. Quiero. Quiero. I actually have a pretty good little Mexican accent when I when I when I try. <laughs> Let's hear yours. Go ahead. Tell me you want some. Dame leche, mama. Dame leche. Oh yeah, I was in the middle of making this. I better get back to it. Okay, this actually smells really good. No, no, no. No, 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 little one. Comes with pineapple, too. Mm. This might actually be a legit Mexican place in Nashville. I'm mm. gonna find out. We're at Publix. We're gonna get the little Harlita Panchita. Some stuff to eat. We're gonna start some baby lead weaning soon. So, uh, what do you think she wants? We already have bananas. Mm, what, what else do you want? Oh, a little golden retriever. What else do you think she should get? I wanted to try avocado, but avocado is like <laughs> not a thing here. Good avocado. It's not a thing here. 
get you some a variety of stuff to try. Oh yeah, you want some carrots? We can do carrots. We can steam some stuff, some veggies. Um, I think broccoli would be good too. Oh nice, I just bought on Amazon like a set of knives and crinkle cutters to like make them. She might need more of a square actually, like a grabbable. So I'm gonna get the other ones. <laughs> oh, we just left Publix and I think I just heard the weirdest thing that anyone said to me in a long time. Actually, she didn't say it to me, she said it to Nick, but she was like, the worst part about COVID is you can't go around smelling babies' heads anymore because babies' heads smell good. I'm well, like, who in the shit let you get close enough to their baby to like smell it? Looks like you learned it. a good lesson from COVID that that's not okay. That is like so weird. Like, what would you do if somebody came up to her to like, like huff your baby? Like, <sighs> like I'd be like, you don't? No. Don't. What else was I gonna tell you guys? I'm basically brain dead. I am actually possibly going to crap my pants. It's like that end of period explosive diarrhea action. Am I? Probably. I'm excited to go home and clean some of the stuff we got at the thrift store for Harlow and see what she thinks about it. I got my handy dandy disinfecting wipes, so. Yeah, we'll get home and first things first, I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom and then I will clean everything off. Let's see what she thinks. Are you excited too? Sounds like we have like a little like smoker back there. <laughs> Her little raspy voice. I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, well she's down to like a pack a day. So she's, I think she's trying to quit. Mm, the sun is coming out. Well, we just got home and I just got spit up on. Are you proud of yourself? We you have to say for yourself. Is it funny? Is that funny? I literally came to take a photo with her and I was like, oh, look at this, like, by my necklace. And then she literally started just actively spitting up. Piper. Oh. What the hell just happened? I was literally just, look at her face. I was literally just showing my sweater and then, look at you, are you Better excited about spinning this? Spinning. Who's that in the mirror? Who that pretty girl? Who that pretty girl? <laughs> Let's show everybody what we got. Dad's putting together the chair because we're kind of just convinced that she wants some real food. Oh, you go reach for the camera? You reach for the camera? So we got the outfit she has on right now. And so we got this outfit that she got on. We need a bib. Does she have one of those nearby? Then I found this little kind of sensory toy that looks like virtually brand new. Um, and this was 350. Then we got a little Christmas dress. She could technically wear this for Thanksgiving too. So maybe we'll do that. I got her a little ugly. Oh, let's see. This was 450. This was 350. Love that. Um, Dad picked this one out. It is this was 650. Well, it's like Jessica Simpson, I think, yeah. Then we got a couple of these. I showed you guys these in the store. I couldn't believe how cheap these were. Two fifty dollars for this, like, I swear this has, like, never even been used. Um, this little sleep sack. And then three fifty dollars for this one. And then this is a, um, it's a Halo sleep swaddle. And these are expensive, so I'm pretty stoked on that. Then we got her a Preds shirt for the hockey game we're gonna go to. This was kind of a ripoff. This was like $6.50, I'm surprised. But super cute. Got her a little book. 
Actually, we got our two books. Of course, we had to get this one. This was 150. This is uh, Sparky the Fire Dog. And then this one was 152. And then we got that gate that Nick already broke, actually. <laughs> um, we got this gate right here. And then I need to look up. This is the little play thing. I need to look up this brand. I've actually never heard of this, Orabelle, but it's adjustable. I'm about to clean it off and then we'll see what she thinks of it. Also came with all this stuff and it's, I think it's like freaking brand new. So we got that for $50. So total, ba -ba -da -ba, we spent $103.79. I was hoping that I'd find a lot more like onesies so I could return a lot of the stuff to Walmart, but unfortunately a lot of them are really small. Like there were like almost no onesies for kids her age. Maybe it's because they start eating food around there. Look for those mom for Halloween. <laughs> you're, you're, are you me? Are you me for Halloween? What do you think of that chair? You gonna eat some food in there? This one looked really easy to take off and wash, so. Oh, this, uh, this also has a tray that goes on it, which I like. So if we wanna do her food, we just stick the tray on there or whatever. If like we're at a restaurant, we don't want her touching like the counter or something like that. So. What do you think, Carlo? What do you think, pretty girl? What do you think of your chair? Say thank you, mama and daddy. So this thing is $140 new, it's this one right here. So the fact that we got it for 50 bucks and it looks freaking brand new to me, um, score. Disinfected this, it comes with all these extra things too that you can pop into these little things if you wanna like change it up. I like the sounds of this though. It's not as annoying as like some other ones. Well, that's funny, this worked at the store. Yeah. Oh, it's got an on and off. <laughs> well, the height's good. I disinfected that one super well because I knew she was going to put that one right in her mouth. For that thing. Oh my gosh, she did. Look. She already spit up on that chair, too. Oh my goodness. Do you need some real food in your life? That does it. I'm gonna see if I can actually find a store like that near our house in San Diego because I have so much baby stuff that we either never got to and it still has the tags on it or have like the mamaroos and stuff like that. So it'd be kind of cool to take it to a store like that so people can get it for cheap and then we can maybe buy you some stuff that actually fits in stuff. What do you think? Well, Harlow and dad are about to go on a walk. I think I'm gonna take a nap. So thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next video, bye.